Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over some questions we received about Home Manage. And there's 12 questions. Some of them are a bit advanced, um, but I hope, hope you'll find them useful. Uh, let's get started with number one, and that question would be, there's a row of icons near the top. The icons and titles are very small. How do I s make them bigger? Well, right now I'm looking at a 1920 by 1080, I believe, resolution monitor, and the buttons are okay on this display. But if you have a Microsoft Surface with a resolution I believe is 2400 or you have a higher resolution, I can see how the buttons are very small and they could be hard to read. Uh, we need to change the program to make them bigger. So we're going to, uh, since a lot of people are now using larger resolution screens, we're going to have to um, uh, detect that and make these buttons bigger uh, in that kind of display resolution. Number two, is there a way to turn on tooltips when you hover over the icon? Yeah, they, make sure the program is activated and if you do that and just hover over any toolbar button it'll uh, show you what that actual button does and number three the line below the icons looks like a title bar of some sort but the font is quite large and only about one-third of its height is visible how do I make this smaller and I think this is another um, display resolution thing right now it looks uh, I mean, I can see you can make it. We can make it a bit smaller here, but uh, right now I think it's the right size. Uh, we will look and see if it looks doesn't look correct on higher resolution screens. Question number four: What's the Home Manage ID? Is it a duplicative asset number? Why? No, actually, the two totally separate um, fields. Uh, for this item here, if you look down here, you've got Home Manage ID is twenty five forty eight. What the Home Manage ID is, is, is it's a unique number, just simply a number that is assigned by the, um, my, basically the Microsoft Access database that stores our data, assigns a unique number to each asset, and it cannot be changed. You cannot change that number. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the asset number field, you can change it and make it anything you want to. Now, it defaults. If you don't um, enter anything into the asset number field, it's going to default to take the same value as the home manage ID but if you override it it's going to take whatever value you want you want so right here is the asset number field if I was gonna say change it to 67 hit OK now you can see here it gets changed to uh, the value I specify the home manage ID stays always stays the same as I said earlier Next question, is there a preferred picture size or DPI for the item images? Um, not really, it's really pretty much up to you. Um, uh, what happens in Home Manage is when you assign a image to an item, the first item, the first image, uh, we generate a thumbnail for that image. So no matter how big the, like, let's say this image here was extremely large, um, it would still wouldn't, uh, it still wouldn't cause performance problems because this image you see here in the first column is a thumbnail of the larger image. Uh, so we don't have to compress it on the fly, and um, which would cause delays using your program. Um, so there's really not any kind of limit whatsoever. Um, you know, uh, obviously if, if you've got many, many thousands of huge images that could cause, uh, you know, you may run out of hard drive space, although that's, that doesn't happen so often these days. Our next question, can multiple items use the same image or is the image duplicated for each item? Uh, no, multiple items cannot uh, map to the same image. That would be nice in some situations for sure, but um, right now we'd keep separate images, image files for each image, even if the image is exactly the same. Number seven is, is there a way to associate and retain a copy of the purchase receipt for an item? Yeah, that's very simple. You would just use it a, a, a use an attachment. So I'd edit the item here, click on attachments, and I'm just going to add, if I had a PDF receipt, I would just add, I click on add and point to the PDF receipt file, and it would be attached to that image um, as an attachment. Question number eight is, I don't break out the tax from the purchase price. Is there a way to eliminate the total cost field, which is always the same as the base cost and subtotal fields? Uh, no, uh, there's really no way of deleting items. There's no way of deleting fields from this, uh, from this uh, item properties window. 
like you're talking about this section down here subtotal tax one tax two total cost no you would just in this situation use the total cost field um, and um, uh, if you if you enter an item in subtotal and there's no tax the subtotal title subtotal and total cost will always be the same how do I move an item to the disposed of location I try drag and drop and nothing happens um, well the reason for that is don't we we create the disposed assets field from any asset which has any of the fields the following fields set so <clears throat> if it has the date sold the sold to or the selling price set it's going to be gener it's going to be moved to the disposed assets field and the reason for that is uh it's no we consider it no longer in your inventory if you if you said that this item has been sold so you don't possess it anymore so like i said the date sold sold to or selling price if those fields are non-empty then the item should be moved to the disposed assets field next question is the item properties screen for adding and editing data seems well organized if you are using all of the fields i find many of the fields to be meaningless for my purpose is there a way to remove the unwanted fields or restructure the, the location of the fields? Again, like I said before, this um, this uh, add items window is hard coded, and there's really no way of taking items fields off of it. So the answer to that is no. Last question is kind of related to an earlier question. That is, when an item is highlighted on the top of the screen, a list of the details regarding the item up here at the bottom of the screen is there a way to modify what is displayed at the bottom of, in this detail view and the, and the answer to that is the the program um, generates this detail view depending on all the, all the fields that actually have non-empty data in them so if you if you've got like for example he's he's asking about base cost and total cost he doesn't want to see both of those because he only uses one he doesn't use taxes so uh, but if you were unfortunately if you if you're into the base cost and the total cost would be the same they would both be displayed there's really no way of just specifying that one of those is going to be uh, uh, displayed so uh, last question when does home manage 2018 come out if I buy in 2017 now will I get an automatic upgrade to 2018 and uh, 2018 is going to be out um, probably it's a March of 2018 and yes it's January 1st no I'm sorry it's January 8 2018 and anybody who buys 2017 will get a free upgrade anyone who buys it in January or later so all right thank you very much for watching take care and goodbye